So we have an encounter here, just outside Rigel. Who is it going to be? Who's that? We haven't seen that before. We come in peace. Oh, well, that's a good sign. Maybe they could be friendly. Um, hmm. What can you tell me about your species? Remote grow program to replicate. Repair data. Contact alien species. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. Well, that escalated quickly. Okay, they're now attacking us. Okay, so that... What on earth went on there? So they're now attacking us. I'm going to go straight in with the flagship. Test out some of these new weapons. Oh, jeez, they're quick. I'm going to go in the point defense. Slylandro? 21418B. But the Nova Mace can take him out. Yes, look at that. He is shooting like lightning bolts. But uh, took him out, though, with the awesome Nova Mace. 550 RU from that, though, which is awesome. But jeez, they were friendly for a minute there, and they suddenly turn hostile. So that was a bit strange. Um, yeah, that was a bit weird. So, they were very quick as well. I mean, they were... I remember them chasing us on the way to Rigel. Um, and they were very difficult to hit. I mean, they were, like, waving around a bit. They must have had some strange movement patterns, but... Jeez, they were uh, very hostile. Um, either they were lying to us, or they just... Something happened. I don't know really what happened there, but... They seemed to be on our side, and then they just suddenly attacked us. Very strange. But anyway, we are coming up to Epsilon Gruis, the home of the Spathy. Oh, and there's a Spathy right there. Is he going to be friendly with us? Fwitho said they won't be friendly, but I guess we could show them Fwitho. Is that a good idea? Do you think we should do that? I, I might, we might as well. Let's just go to it. So here's a Spathy Captain, three Spathy Captains. Surprise and terror! I am greeted by the smooth and hostile face of our old enemy, the Hootman. No, the Hootman? No, no, I remember. The Hootman. Alright, so, um, it's a Spathy. Uh, let's just say we're on a peaceful and mission. Your last statement defy the course of nature as I know it. First, peace, as you call it, is an illusion. If you have peace, you simply haven't yet seen the thing that's trying to kill you. Second, peaceful missions through the cosmos rarely require weapons large enough to punch holes through a small moon. Well, uh, to be fair, let's just, uh, let's just choose the first option here. In case you have not forgotten, we are bonded to the Urquan as slaves. The punishment for the plan you propose can be described as death. Yes, but, you know, why are they even fighting for the Urquan anyway if they're such cowards? Yeah, that's a good question. This is a sad tale, so do not even try to contain your tears. After the Orphan demolished the Ilrath, they turned the force of their armada against us Safi. The term rapidly subjugated would best describe what happened next. When the Orphan arrived at Safiwa, there was a great ceremony. Part of that ceremony involved blasting portions of our planet's surface into radioactive dust, and this part we did not enjoy. But the worst was yet to come. Our leaders were called into the command chamber of Urquan Lord One's Dreadnought, where they were read a long and complicated document explaining the choices given new slaves. When our leaders heard the term forever encased and impenetrable shield, they grew overexcited, I'm afraid, and made a fatal error. The decision was to be transmitted to the Orphan by a one of two rods, one colored black, the other white. Our leader handed the white rod to one of the Orphan's servants, signifying fellow slavery. But the servant somehow exchanged rods and handed the Orphan Lord a black rod, indicating our desire to become fighting slaves. By the time we learned of the switch, it was too late. The Orquan would not permit a change in status. Following that most tragic day, we were forced to assume the role of an Urquan star thug. We tried to avoid combat, but the Urquan gave us three warnings, each more strident than the last. 
When we learned that there would be no fourth warning to be annihilation, we attended to our new role with improved vigor. Oh, and perhaps you have already guessed, the Arquan's servant tremendous witch was an Umga. How unfortunate. Um, I think they should just ally with Earth immediately though, to be honest. Oh, that was quite easy, huh? Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, let's just ask about their species. Which is not native to your world. We are intelligent and clever, though you would never call us cunning. Each day when we awaken, we call forth the traditional snappy prayer. Oh God, please don't let me die today. Tomorrow would be so much better. Oh, that was pretty funny. Um. Let's just ask him this question. With no pain whatsoever, owning vast personal property plus a company of nubiles. If this is in your power to give, I beg of you to do so. Okay. Um, let's just go. Let's just say we leave in peace. Look, can we keep this as a secret between the two of us? It's really rather embarrassing. Yeah, they can't even bother to fight us, so let's just, uh move away from him. He doesn't isn't actually gonna pose much of a threat. So let's go to their home world. There's a moon as well. But let's go to the main place they're all orbiting. This is Spathywhere I guess. Water world. Understandable. So uh let's just scan I guess. Some radioactives. No energy scans, that's strange. Some biologicals, though. You would expect some energy, maybe. Surely you'd expect energy on a home world, but... Never mind, let's just go down. Whoa, what are these things? What on earth are these things? Let's just... Can we just kill them? Hello? Hello there? No, we just kill them like that. One biodata. To be fair, it is worth 40 RU, remember we said, so might as well just uh, clean all these up. I don't know what the hell they're doing here, though, to be honest. I thought these were Spathy Land, but obviously not. Maybe it's the moon. I don't know. Let's just uh, kill all these guys, whatever they are. They're like little... They're like weird teddy bear things, and they die in one hit. And they're not hostile at all. They're the easiest things to kill. But you can see... Um, since we uh, bought some new technology from the Mel Norme, we've now got uh, a quicker uh, ship. You can see it's like yeah, twice as quick as before. Um, so that's quite helpful in getting away. Well, first of all, getting to all these stupid teddy bears, but also very useful for when you're trying to escape from earthquakes and lightning and stuff like that. You can go and collect the minerals quicker. So that's pretty good. Just two more to go, I think. And then we should be able to leave, I guess. So there was nothing there at all. It's a completely useless planet. Right, so let's just go over to the moon, I guess. Ah, now this seems like there's something here. And that's a lot of spathy ships. Wow. Let's uh, converse. What is the secret cipher? It's Huffy Muffy Guffy. Fuifo told us that. We are the Faith Ones, the Spotty High Council. You have given us the correct cipher, and so you will not be destroyed immediately. Now, if you please, tell us how you acquired our most secret Spotty cipher, which every Spotty swears never, never to reveal, even when threatened with considerable pain. Um, we met a Spathy on Pluto and we became good friends. Just where is this spotty friend now? Never mind. The answer is all too obvious in your tiny, dry eyes. I think they're trying to um, tell us that we killed them. But we didn't. We've got Fwifo on board. Yes. If you held a weapon to Fwifo's head, he would say anything you wanted him to say. In fact, if you held a vegetable to his head, he would probably say anything you wanted him to say. True, he did kind of seem like that kind of person, but... I think that's pretty much what their whole species is like. Um, okay. 
asked for peace, but they just kind of we said are nothing. afraid of the Urban to consider such an alliance. They would most certainly punish us with extreme tortures. Yeah, but we're stronger than the Earthquam. Look at our awesome ship. How can you not... Hello, how can you say no? Hello. Awaken from your dreamy state, you them. Now is the time for realism, not wild fancy. What do they mean? Unless they have some idea of... Yeah. Your vessel is unique, and here is the crux of the problem. A unique, meaning singular, starship is not equal to the task of destroying the entire Earth one. Sure it is. If you had, say, 10,000 similar starships, we could take your boasts more seriously. What do we have to... Yeah, let's just destroy their entire star fleet. Well, that would probably work, but I have a better idea. A test. One of those questy kind of things. Quest? What kind of test have they got? You must wipe the evil ones from the face of Spatula. Can we just do that? Have we done that? Is that what the evil ones were? I think we just killed them, didn't we? Let's just... say... Did we? What? Can this be a true fact and not a false I don't know. Lie? Send Those are evil ones? Team to investigate your claim. If what you have said is true... Is that the same as the ultimate evil that Fwifo was talking about? To you for a long, so unspecified period of time. Goodbye. Right. Uh, do we... Where do we go now? Do we go back to the main planet, or do we just re-enter the moon, I guess? I think we should just... Do we just re-enter the moon? Yeah. Probably. Oh, yeah, there we go. We rejoice and make merry in celebration of our imminent return to our home world. You are most heroic and helpful. Thank you, thank you, thank you! But now I must return to our festivities. Please feel free to come back any time. Woo, they have to ally they have to be part of our alliance, surely. Come on Why now. Don't you just wait a while until after we are resettled on our home world. We can discuss details at No, you time. have to become alliance now because it will take ages, surely. How long will it take? 10, no, we can't wait that long, unfortunately. Come on now. No, no, no. We are simply taking a more adult welcome to the real world view of the situation. We cannot simply say hurrah and form an alliance with you this very moment. Surely, surely you can. That. Of course we can just say hurrah and form an alliance. Yeah, let's just let's just say that. That sounds like a good thing to say, I guess. No, uh, no please. <sighs> exactly what kind of relationship were you thinking of? Um, a mutually beneficial alliance of minds and might. Or yeah. Huh? Uh, uh, uh whatever. What? No. Yes, that one. A kind uh, where you do exactly okay. as we yeah, say. Right with that arrangement. Very well. I'll bet we will regret this decision later on, but you leave me with no choice. We will comply with your needs. A spathy delegation will depart immediately for the planet Earth. Awesome. So I guess we've got the spathy on our side and we can hopefully get some more of their ships. But um, we could head back to Earth now. Um, but either way, uh, coming up to the end of this episode, so this episode we got the Spathy on our side, and we also took down uh, a weird um, alien vessel which seemed to kind of trick us and then become hostile, but either way, I'm going to probably leave Epsilon Gruis and head back to Earth.